for illumined life to be birthed into form. I am the truth. I am the life. Hello there everyone and welcome. I first want to begin today's video by asking you how are you? <laughs> I'm sure all of us are pretty tired, exhausted even from all the work we've been doing recently, you know. Um, it's been taking quite a lot, right? It, it requires a lot of devotion and affiliation with the right kind of alignment, uh, the right kind of things that are, we, we are allowing in our space and uh, you know just the right kind of light quotient um, infusion and integration so I've been working 24 7 recently non-stop you know I even haven't slept a lot um, but the thing that I want to talk about first before we begin today is there was a re recently this major breakthrough and I've experienced it myself last night because I reached a certain threshold of light quotient um, you know integration that was required for me to take the next step and um, I don't know if you remember last year but I was undergoing this profound training that I call the pulsar of light and it's basically directorian light technology that is used um, and it, it functions in, in different ways you know I'm gonna talk about this more um, in my in my work group but it is pretty intense and in a way that was kind of interrupted or was put on hold um, for a while especially during the winter time and during that time um, I've shared with you how I had to break through this massive um, like amount of, of control that's not just like you know uh, some of us experience but it's almost like this was needed on the behalf of the human body in general um, because the human body of everyone is sort of built, was built in this time to align with specific configurations and my group specifically worked on rewiring that so that this new configuration could take place and this this took me quite a few months and as you know I went through quite a dark night of the soul which was a deep initiation and um, it was in a way so drastic that I told you like at times I felt like I'm gonna die and at that time we worked specifically with resurrecting through the essence of Christ like a lot of these aspects within the human body and it was just right after the new year came that I started rising back up and coming back into myself and it was sort of like February March just in time for this alignment and what's happening at this time now um, and as I was experiencing my body challenges that I mentioned to you it was all around this head area and so much pain and it brought me to this deep state of confusion not knowing what to do and in the end I knew that it's initiation because every time we're deeply challenged it's an inner call to go deeper and at the end I had nothing else to do nothing left to do but to go deeper within so I went and I received instructions but you know even though I held uh, it was a week of work that I went through intensely it was like an intensive training again and even though you know I've received instructions and felt intuitively what I need to do I knew exactly the guidance came I never quite quite felt this um, instant connection with uh, my light group again in the same way you know when I was in the spirit mode like training for the pulsar it was just amazing I really felt like this spirit badass you know I you know like when you know exactly who you are where you're going what are you doing so um what happened was I, I realized I had to reach a certain amount of light quotient and I recently received this message somehow that again the, the group wants to connect with me the specific being that I call my spirit counterpart wants to reconnect again that it's quite difficult at this time to achieve that not just because of what's happening on earth 
like generally, but also what's happening at this time specifically, but also because of what occurred specifically in my own example, what I had to endure and go through. So in a way, I had to create a light pathway to connect just as much as they needed to. And my work of this light body technology training, which I talked to you about, that I'll share more about when I'm on the other side completely and when this work is done on this portion on this behalf of this work. And this was kind of like simultaneously in alignment with what's happening now with the world and in our world. So it was even more difficult because I was pulled and, and trained in so many different things and aspects and, you know, it can become quite mind numbing and at times and uh, pretty, um, sometimes a little scrambled, right? So we really have to get into what's important. So I dedicated myself for one week to just focus on this work. And each day I specifically received a new portion of giving the body instructions by actually applying the uh, light body inner intelligence which you can call technology but it's really more like an intelligence so all advanced sight beings actually operate within their own field they use their own field like their light bodies to develop internal state of intelligence that then becomes in a way you know like organic technology that's what we understand about certain beings like arcturian beings and such so these were and always were my counterparts and i've received quite a lot of messages um, about us you know at that time when i was in this training last year and where we come from and why we're here at this time specifically and they even told me you know we don't come to like these planes of density if it's not a really important age if it's not a really important era which now is so i was shown at that time like how we actually originated from a different universe but then we came here when there was a set timeline for this polarity play out which began as you know in the orion constellation and it was even given the name beetlejuice at that time this was something i, I never talked about as you well know so um orion even has that x kind of formation right it's it's the cross of polarity that needs to play itself out this is where the seed of Illumin union was planted and as there was a progression of life in creation and we all know that orion is is a place where we had these great wars there were uh, intergalactic wars and uh several planetary stations and you know was, was, was like involved so uh, we all kind of still hold remembrance of that but I was shown how at each specific timeline we came and assisted by bringing this what well, we, we kind of held like as as a group being from that universe which was in its in its way already illumined i don't know i can't find another word but that's what i was shown you know it's not so much specific it's just like an allegory of what's playing out at this time so the seed of Illumin union then travels through different variations of density through it went through different constellations and also it became a part of different planetary stations right this evolution of life playing itself out so it was evident that eventually this would come to earth as well and this is now this time that's why my work is called the lumen union and uh, the lumen ascension so it's still pretty um, mind-numbing to me at times you know when these things come but I always feel such a deep state of connection with this overall soul connection that I have with my group and they show me everything about what's my what's our purpose in spirit what's my purpose here and I really envision myself as a part of this new world that we're all co-creating at this time to have this part to play in sort of like passing on like how to do these things because um, I'm going to share more what happened but I just really feel this is this is that calling you know and a lot of people would ask me well even though I'm enthusiastic about this and I feel the call and I'm doing all this work and meditation I still don't know quite how to put my purpose into this you know a lot of people even though they're doing a lot of quote-unquote spiritual work they still feel like this deeper heart connection that they want to connect to this something like a greater longing a greater call and you know even in my um, first segments of my spiritual journey this wasn't yet unveiled because it wasn't time yet and then eventually when he came it was just time and then the alignment came and I had to break through quite a lot of things to actually become really independently unique 
in the essence and the blueprint that we carry and why we are here and be, become so um, intelligently sovereign in that, so empowered in that knowing, like something that no one, as you know, can take away from you. Because now there's a lot of people doing different things and we can quickly become, you know, like entranced, like uh, in what other people are doing. And still, although it's beautiful to join groups and uh, do things uh, like follow others, but uh, there's something more that we all feel in our heart that specifically connects to who we are. And not a whole lot of people are connected at that level, meaning at the oversoul level, which is that... Uh, primordial signature that you carry throughout your lifetimes it's not like just oh my purpose in this lifetime this is like like the signature the seal of of the uniqueness that you carry with you wherever you are as an individual soul aspect so for me what I see what I know the truth to be about this is that this purpose can truly be known once you have a complete establishment with your oversoul group and I'm not going to say it's an easy thing because a lot of people say I'm connected to source. Yeah, you know, source is unbiased. It's only present. It's everywhere. You can feel it like in your meditation and when you're walking outside in nature, it's in everything. But when we talk about the nature of the oversoul complex, the way it's built, the way it's designed, it's so specifically unique that it takes, it requires quite a lot of spiritual work for someone to become spiritually attained in that sense that they know, they know their source of origin. They have this pure remembrance and it's not something you can get in reading. You know, it's not something someone can tell you about you. You can get hints here and there. Um, you know, I could never get readings from others that would actually be correct <laughs> because, you know, it wasn't my path. And uh, it, it was something beyond what other people knew because it's just ours. No one knows about this, but our oversoul group. So it's in a way such a beautiful intimate connection. And so you have to um, know that once I was sort of, it wasn't like I was cut off from it. It was always there. But that deep connection, which was like permanent all the time, all these months when it was not here, I felt such sadness, truly. I wasn't devastated because um, I'm not living in a place where I would really like to live at this time, you know, and do the kind of things in a different way now because I shifted so much. But the deeper part of the sadness was related actually to this like why am I not feeling it anymore where are you have you abandoned me you know it was in a way like this but the initiations that come through the oversoul group can sometimes specifically in my example because they're quite an advanced complex of divine intelligence these, these beings and um, they require often this training on earth like to anchor this presence on earth and this training um, for a lot of more advanced star beings will be um, different you know what let's say most people as humans will experience as individuated beings here on earth these initiations that are birthed from um, let's just say different star origins and portals and how life comes from other regions but here how life comes through the transference of certain light intelligences that were not specific part of earth before that's what they told me they told me we only come when there's a specific like descent of light that there's a call there's a time there's an alignment and that's when that becomes possible so our presence truly i was shown it wasn't here before it was it was a presence you know but it wasn't like a physical presence like on earth in terms of embodiment so it was all very new to me, you know, and the deeper I went into this, like the more I felt like this beautiful connection. So when I started this pulsar of light training last year, I remember I was just so exhilarated. I was feeling amazing. And when I, um, you know, when I, when I go into that state of light activation, when I enter into the pulsar state, um, it's like you're one with this universal life force and you're just beaming it out and I, I taught actually that technique but it's not like something that can be learned you know I shared about it so people could at least come into awareness of it that this exists because there's specific traits that were passed on through different lineages and star systems um, that I, um, I'm going to talk about as well one day specifically the Pleiadian, Syrian and Arcturian alignment they, they form a sort of a triangle of mystery schools and Pulsar is specifically related with Arcturian um, light consciousness. And 
and it's interesting you know um, when you know something and then you again have to fall and you have to descend the energy it's like you know what's there you know what you can hold in your body and then you have to go into this deep darkness and that's what happened in my case so it was so difficult and the reason why i'm sharing this is because i'm not the only type of beings probably you know original in the way we are but the only type of beings will have more difficult initiations here on earth just because we're bringing energies uh, of the light intelligence that weren't here on earth before so that can be sometimes very difficult you know it can be challenging because sometimes the readiness will not be there and a part of us will have to go to sleep at that time and it almost feels like something's taken away from you what it's basically just the body's catching up or you know your multidimensional being your work at that time is needed elsewhere and in a different way um, so it can feel sometimes intense so the reason why I'm sharing this if there's other starred beings out there who might find this video one day and can understand this more that sometimes this is a part of the journey that we're not disconnected at all at that time but there's something put on hold and in my case I had to break through with with this actually what was put into me what I managed to embody through the pulsar I then had to eventually resurrect and come back to it and this was sort of like the challenge you know because we don't just as beings who carry these um very profound light codes and understanding we're not just here to like have them you know like this ticking time bomb right it's just about to explode we're not just here for that reason but we're also constantly in training mode how to how to use that and, and all ways so um, there's no time on earth in that sense specifically so because we still sometimes experience linearly we might experience that as oh at that portion and I'm just withdrawn from it but it's not really the truth so it's like at that point it's there's this part of you that was once present but it no longer is that's how it feels and during this whole winter time it was like where the heck am I you know I, I could hardly associate myself with with this body in, in the way that I felt before and it was truly difficult and it's funny because I wanted to record a different thing but this just started coming out so obviously you know it wants to go out and be shared so what happened this week with my light body intensive training that I just really needed to undergo and I had to basically physically be at the specific alignment that I could be ready to you know <laughs> start aligning with this again I had to reach a certain alignment which was difficult after such a difficult winter that I had and so much that needed to be resurrected through my body but this is something I believe at the higher level was was preset it was predetermined because like I said we don't just have this as something oh I know this and you know I can rock the world with this <laughs> intelligence it's like you know in every condition it needs to be mastered in the way that it comes through the body the way it's used so it's it's quite a, an advanced understanding that's why I truly envision myself and have this desire that once we're through the threshold at this difficulty and more into the new world that we're now co-creating um, more reflective of the sovereign state and freedom and liberty for all that you know um, we and our team in that way what we bring here to the world could be like ambassadors for this you know so I could share this in whatever way I could you know this these things are difficult you, you can basically teach certain things online um, but I really envision I would really love to do it's like imagining how to have a group you know who could start at least perceiving what it can be done because humans are on the threshold of becoming you know one of the um, global citizens galactic citizens in a way so it's like all of these aspects of life that are part of this collective pool i call it the, the cosmic gene pool are there and available for all that's why i believe many groups perhaps some have not been here for a lot of time for eons some have never been here but it's kind of like time there's like this rejoining and earth is pulling like i've shared with you before like these new aspects it's pulling and it's calling in these new uh, archetypes of life and the way uh, life can be lived the way orchestration of light can occur 
So there are specific star beings present on Earth at this time, which I really truly feel that once we pass this threshold, when enough of, of humanity opens up to this, we could actually begin our teaching and a lot of the things we knew and always held within and were trained for for a long time, perhaps for many years, we can start off, you know. So what, what happened yesterday was actually last night was after this intensive training that took about a week, it was just the first stage. Uh, I felt much better, you know, I felt like, wow, I'm not as much in pain, you know, anymore, at least now in this cycle, because, you know, it, it, it's coming in waves, you know, it comes and goes in waves. <laughs> so what happened is I went to bed. I got really sleepy because I worked a lot. Then I went to bed and suddenly, you know, I was just wide awake. I wasn't sleepy anymore and this presence came into me and I'm going to, I'm going to talk about more on Patreon because this is it's quite a lot and I don't want to put everything out there on YouTube because you know you never know who's watching um, I don't want to share every aspect <laughs> with the whole wide world yet um, but the basic is that these beings the Arturian light team came again I actually asked them I invoked them a while ago when this started but nothing came and I was like what the heck is there no one there to help me but I actually received a very um, essential guidance they said, well, I needed to reach a certain specific light quotient to call this in, and then they could step in, which is what a lot of humans don't know. You know, when, when you ask for assistance and you think it's just going to come, and it's the same with thinking that there's going to be certain star brothers and sisters coming there, you know, to save humanity. And in a way, humanity giving over their free will to other beings, which is not and truly called for at this time. It's not the highest aspect of what can be chosen, you know, for the sovereignty of the new human race in the making, you know, um, the new humans. So it's like there needed to be this meeting point. And it was for the first time in my life that I experienced this work on me done consciously. It was anything unlike that sleep paralysis state that the beings who sometimes they come and surprise you and they're not always as you know benevolent as i've shared with you before and oftentimes they just want to use you as a source of information and they'll scan you and they'll probe you and things like that but a lot of um, our work had to do with persevering even through that we knew that's going to be a part of the reality i'm sure a lot of beings who came here from elsewhere knew everyone knows what's going on and there is a certain wisdom behind it because like I always say, even darkness serves the light and it initiates you in a way that you eventually have nothing else to do but to turn within. And this is how we unlock our gifts. We're not just bombarded externally by these beings who come and you know they will open up our DNA. It's, it's again, it's a meeting point. There's these energies that are being constantly streamed onto the planet and us as receptacles and we're needing to do the light activation part and this is when we do the inner work and this is how we can only be guided to this internally as you know there's a concurrency of of what we're doing at this time there's something that each and every one of us has to do within there's a level of, of specific mastery that we're each kind of invited into at this time and this is the inner call and then there's the call of how to participate in the world and i always experience this in parallel there is the me that has a unique mission that no one has on earth but myself. And then there is me sharing and having an influence and impact on this world. So this is both, it's like a double mission, you know, and most star beings have dual missions. And a lot of it has to also do with um, bringing these codes of light not always specifically for all to be shared because I always tell you I do so much work behind the scenes that I, I don't even talk about um, and I have um, like dozens and dozens of, of notebooks of written material and I'm always thinking well if I die tomorrow who's gonna get this who's gonna read this what if they find this you know it's like wow <laughs> I know it's it's a joke but still you know sometimes you think about things like that um, and it's like, I hope someone who's not meant to find this doesn't find this. Um, so there's so much happening at this time. And I really feel um, that it's, it's all just tied in. It's all about how open humanity will be for this. It's like everything's already out there. Everything's already laid out. There's beings who needed to incarnate here for very specific reasons already. 
the key players for ascension are here already it's like the stage has been set it, it's like all now it's just us awaiting for certain alignments to like finally come into place so it was interesting because this activation i underwent in this fully awake state uh tonight like rejuvenated me like instantly i could feel the energy traveling through my body and i'll, I'll share more in the um on the galactic update uh, on patreon but um it was just amazing i was so happy and then somehow i was guided to open up the window in the middle of the night <laughs> after that one hour of these energetic surges and my body was adjusting and twitching and all that and then i just looked out and somehow they were calling me to look up the sky and i see this bright star and i don't know how stars are aligned i'm not like specifically in the knowledge this is this this is that but i felt like this must be arcturus so i took my phone app and i zoomed in and it really was arcturus so um it was amazing so uh, i will share more um but in the notion of aligning with this template that you hold especially for star beings um, at this unique individualized star level it's something that just comes you know and when you feel sometimes it's it's a way you also have to know that we as groups we do a lot of complex work that's not just um, always centered around earth so sometimes what I'm being shown is we're centered a lot in, in the happenings around Earth and sometimes we're not here at all. Sometimes I feel like that. I don't even feel included in what's happening here because my consciousness is like with the group and elsewhere. So I'm just sharing this for beings who are similar and yet of course different and unique to have more of the um, understanding why this is so. And that doesn't mean it's something wrong with you because we shift a lot like i'm a shapeshifter in a way that um, sometimes it's profound you know and there's levels of me sometimes i'm in this deeply spirit training mode sometimes i'm just in my inner child mode and this is how it was the entire winter i was just human and it was so freaking difficult to me because i couldn't feel this correlation with this higher aspect of me it's like it was intentionally not there because the human aspect the human counterpart needed to learn how to resurrect that so there's like so much happening that we don't always know about but when this connection is is established when you're i'm always like this with my group and i'm on the other side they're going to tell me everything when i'm in between nothing and that's why there was this silence, this void, like for months. And I was so excruciatingly like in pain, you know, this longing that you have for this connection. It's like, it's like your home. I mean, they're my home to me. I don't really have like so much of a physical home like most earth humans do. I'm always in nature. I really don't even have like a place where I would really feel comfortable in terms of indoors. I, I don't know. I just don't feel good. And I never feel good like that. And I never had a specific home location that would be like really home on earth. Like that's my station on earth, you know, it was always like a vagabond and a wanderer in that sense. But um, it, it can be difficult, this training. So this video is probably more intended for beings who are here, volunteer souls, new beings, never been here before, or, you know, you come here specifically for this time, bringing in a sort of light intelligence and the gift that you're preparing for that now when humanity is open and activated enough you're going to start pouring or you're already pouring in this collective but so far i feel it was just about doing this within ourselves and that the next steps to be revealed soon we don't know when but it will be more connected with this work being like carried more out into the world so it is what it is and for those of you who feel this to be a little off it's really not intended for you so don't freak out and uh, it is what it is we are who we are and um, you know I don't have any problem with sharing this because I know there's others out there as well who've been having quite difficult initiations and this might help someone so thank you for watching and um, let's move on to something next that um, I'm here to create so thank you for being here with me and as always, you're welcome to join my Patreon where I do lots of these galactic updates too. So um, anyway, as always, so much love is in power. Take care. Bye.